So yesterday, the Masons started working on the full foundation of the house spot. So I hope you enjoy some good clips of them working. I'm quite impressed with the uh, job they did.
So let's take a walk around the, uh, the perimeter and go inside and see what all has been accomplished. When I left out yesterday, it was about 4.30, and they were just finishing up the front side here. It looks great. So they've got uh, these air vents along here, which I believe open and close, which is nice. So comes along here. So it's eight blocks in uh, this side and five blocks down here. Here's the pipe they installed for the sewer lines. Now, as you see, they did not finish all the columns in the middle. The house is supposed to be set on Thursday, so I assume tomorrow they'll be back out here to, uh, to work on all of these columns here. Also, they've not finished the uh, porch blocks over here. So the column here in the middle, uh, it's two blocks by two blocks on each side. And they've got these uh, flat blocks here on the top, which is where the house will actually set on. Um, I wonder if they stopped because they weren't going to have enough blocks. I don't know. Looks like they've got them set out over here. So it's enough over there, but um, they've got to have enough blocks to put in uh, all these in here up to whatever height it's going to be at. And so maybe an issue there and then not having enough here. Who knows? But we'll see tomorrow when they get back here and finish this off. So this will be the entrance and exit of uh, underneath the house seat here. It'll just have a little metal door that uh, latches down here, but go through and see. So yeah, here's the little door. It's going to be attached there. Kind of hard to see in this light, but it just slips up in there. They also are going to be using this plastic that's in this box to um, lay down in here to keep any grass and stuff from growing. Well, that concludes day one of installing the blocks here. I think for the seven hours they were working, they made a lot of progress. I'm quite impressed. The lines are straight, and I think uh, they measured the diagonals, and it was off by an eighth of an inch. So. <laughs> I'm uh, happy with that, so I think things will be good. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you very much for watching this Modular Home Series. If you live in the Western North Carolina area and you're looking to purchase a modular home of your own, I highly recommend you check out Home Crafters. We're pleased with our purchase, and they've been real good to us. Also, they have a nice referral program, so mention Seth and Ashley, and we'll all get a nice kickback from that. So I will put a link to them in the description for you to check out. If you've enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you click over here or the link in the description to the next part. And uh, as always, remember to push that thumbs up button and subscribe because lots of videos on the way. Hope to see you there. Bye.